Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna to explain to you how I booked an Evo Marketing three qualified calls in seven days from YouTube after they didn't post for a month. All of these guys, they were making over 250K a month in between 100 and 250K and the third guy was making in between 10 to 30K a month. He got on the phone with all of these guys and that's over $10,000 worth of opportunities. He got all of these calls straight from YouTube and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I got this result for an Evo Marketing. Let's get to it. So first things first, I got some screenshots for you guys. Here's the screenshots from the Calendly confirmations. And you might be wondering, how the hell do you get leads from one month old YouTube videos? It's simple, three steps. First, you need to come up with an SEO optimized video idea, and then you need to create actionable content that is straight to the point, plugs your offer and displays competence. And then the third step is to get a 50 out of 50 SEO score by using keywords that your ICP would search for. You have to combine all three. You can't only just do one of these or two of them. And before I get into it, if you're a business owner or a personal brand and you want someone to take over your entire content marketing process from long form YouTube videos to shorts, you should check out my website. With the YouTube sales funnel, we're not optimizing for views specifically, although we still get them. We're optimizing for ideal prospects to watch our content and book a call. So you might be wondering, how do you target your ICP without running paid ads on a specific audience? Simple, we use SEO so we can target people who are searching for specific search terms. YouTube is the second biggest search engine. So by uploading videos, you'll gain access to 2 billion monthly active users. What other platform has that kind of reach? Twitter? Nope, that's only 300 million. Think about it. Who do you know that doesn't use YouTube? Exactly. I guarantee almost all of your ideal prospects use YouTube multiple times per month. So real quick, here's some quick proof that I actually know how to do SEO. This is from one of our clients, Nick Abraham, who runs a lead gen agency. And here we ranked him for building lead lists, how to build a lead list, lead list, and building lists. Mainly this one, he ranked number one, number seven, and number 20. Those dark blue numbers mean that he's ranking for that video. All right, so now let's get to the first step. How do you come up with an SEO optimized video idea? The first thing you wanna do before you even create a video is come up with an idea that actually gets search volume. We want a video with high search volume and low competition. Think to yourself, what common questions or objections do you get from people interested in your service? Start from there. If one person has an objection or asks a question, Thousands, if not tens of thousands of people are asking the exact same question, but just don't have the guts to ask anyone or haven't asked yet. Once you've found a common sales objection or question, you want to type it into vidIQ. For example, one common objection that my clients Matt Lucero and Nick Abraham get is does cold email even work or do people even check their emails that much? Type that objection into vidIQ in the keyword section. So this is what it looks like. You go to the keyword section, you type do cold email still work in 2023? Lo and behold, we got high search volume and low competition. Now it says medium search volume, but don't worry, this is actually high. All that matters is the competition is low. There's some search volume above kind of 1400, 1300, and that the overall score is green, okay? So you might have to play around a little bit with the wording, but eventually you should get something like this, if it's a good video idea. High search volume, low competition. Most people think the keyword section is only for a single word or a set of words like cold email, but you can actually check the SEO for an entire sentence or a video title, same thing. Write it in and you might have to play around a bit with the words, eventually you'll hit something green. Now you have a video idea that was validated by actual data. Stop guessing whether or not a video will do good, you need to know if it will do good. Let's say hypothetically you can't think of anything, here's another way to come up with an idea. Go to vidIQ. Go to the questions tab, type in a keyword like cold email, and then let me zoom in on this real quick. So once you're in vidIQ and you're in the keyword section, you wanna go type in your keyword, so cold email. After that, you wanna switch from overview to the questions tab. And then after that, you'll be blessed with a bunch of video ideas. So sometimes they're worded a bit weird, so you kind of have to decode them. So for example, how to write a cold email, you could make a video about cold email copywriting and what you're actually supposed to write. Next, we have how to warm up cold email list. What this probably means is how do you warm up your email domains? And then next we have what do you need in the cold email SMMA? So for this, you could talk about the actual email structure. So for example, you need your offer, a guarantee, and also a call to action. So we know these are all good video ideas because they all have an overall score of 60 plus, which means they're good. They have low competition and high search volume, so you're ready to go. The next step is to make action-based content. First, you need to write down a framework for what you're going to be presenting inside of the video. 
This framework would look exactly like this document you're reading right now. You want to dumb down the information as much as possible without compromising the value of the content itself. Don't write random words and fill up the page with zero valuable information. For example, in this document, the actionable advice is to make action-based content. How do you do that? By creating a simple document that has no fluff and explains in clear words the idea that you're trying to convey through the title of the video or the tutorial. You need to lay down everything into a doc and put the information in chronological order. For example, don't tell someone how to actually script an email before you show them how to scrape leads. If you title your video the ultimate guide to booking 50 plus calls per week through cold email and you start talking about why cold email is great and then you give bland general advice like scrape a list from Apollo and send emails, no one's booking a call with you. Here's what you do instead. Give away a specific mechanism or literally walk the prospects through how you would do XYZ thing. In Christian's case, he created a YouTube video talking about his one-two punch method. And then in the video, he explained exactly how to do it and what it even is in the first place since it's a new mechanism that he invented. So the third step is getting a 50 out of 50 SEO score and why it's important in the first place. So once you've finished up the video, take the title that we put earlier into vidIQ, that's now your video title. So for example, here's what we used earlier. Do cold emails still work in 2023? Let's skip the description for now, we'll come back to it. We'll go straight to the tag section. Start typing in a couple of keywords that are broad and related to your video. These should be super obvious and pop up into your brain instantly. For example, for Matt, we did cold email, B2B lead gen, and book more sales calls. Now, as long as you have the vidIQ Boost subscription, you'll get a nice set of suggested tags. Here's what they look like. If you don't have a Boost subscription, get it here. Here's a link. This is an affiliate link, as you can tell. Good tags have a score of 60 plus. They come up in a nice circular shape. So here, anything 60 plus will show up as green. Use keywords that are related to your video. You'll want to think backwards. If I wanted to watch this video, what would I put into the search bar? We've all been consuming YouTube for years, so this should be intuitive. Start writing keywords that come up, and then from there, keep using the suggested ones. As you can see, I typed cold email and I got a bunch of keywords that are all over 60, so this really isn't difficult. Great, now that we're done with the tags and we filled them up all the way to 500 characters, the only thing that's left to do to get a 50 out of 50 SEO score is the description. You'll want to take a look at the tags and write a summary of the video while simultaneously trying to include as many tags as possible into the summary. It can be anywhere from one to two sentences all the way to a few paragraphs. So here's an example of a description I did for a client. This is one on the shorter end that I was testing. It was a video about Advantage Plus on Facebook ads. So Advantage Plus is getting a lot of talk nowadays, but is it really something that you should mess around with? In this video, I detail the pros and cons and under which circumstances should you consider using it. This had the main keyword Advantage Plus, so we were good to go. Congratulations, you now have a 50 out of 50 SEO score. You'll know you have a 50 out of 50 SEO score once you get this to pop up in the top right. Here's what it looks like, I zoomed in. Basically, once you put the title, description, and tags, Get all the tags in here. You'll see on the top right, actionable SEO score 50 out of 50. And real quick while I'm here, I'll explain what this actually means. So tag count is basically how many tags you have and also tag volume. These two kind of mean the same thing. It's a bit complicated, but basically the combination of these two means the quality of your tags and how many tags you have slash like whether you're taking up all 500 characters. Next, keywords and title means are you actually putting in keywords inside of the title? Next, keywords and description means are you putting good keywords in the description and also how many keywords are going into the description. Finally, tripled keywords means that there's a keyword in the title, description, and tags. It's in all three and it's actually a good keyword. If you got all this, you max them out to 5 out of 5 you will get a 50 out of 50 SEO score. I've done this hundreds if not thousands of times, so I know what I'm talking about. So after you do the SEO, you wanna make sure you get a good thumbnail as well. You can't use too many words. You have to keep them less than or equal to four. You also wanna have your face in it. So here's Matt, my client. All of these have his face in it. They also have equal or less than four words. Usually you wanna try and keep it as close as you can to zero words while still conveying the message of the video. This entire process takes time, and as a business owner, your time is probably worth upwards of $250 per hour. So why not outsource it to me? I'll literally do everything except record. That includes content ideation, scripting, I'll guide you through the entire recording process, video editing, the thumbnail, SEO, and posting. 
And here's all that you have to do. Turn on the camera for 20 minutes per week. That's it. I've scaled a coaching slash info offer from 30K to 75K per month using video content. Don't believe me? Watch this interview. It'll be linked in the description. So if you're a business owner or a personal brand and you want someone to take over your entire content marketing process from long form to shorts, you should check out my website. And I'll show you what to do once you click my website. So when you land in, it looks like this. I need you to watch this four minute and 32 second video. After that, you want to book a call. But if you're not convinced yet, I need you to watch this interview if you haven't already and then book a call. But if you're still not sure, check out this case study right here with Matt. This is 50 seconds. It's just Matt talking. And then from here, I got another case study and I also explain my entire service. So after you read all of this and you're convinced that I can get you the outcome you're looking for, go ahead, scroll to the bottom, book a call. Peace out.